My name is Casey Coleman. I'm the founder of Chair Salons in Cardiff and I'm an advocate of Cloud9. I've come into today not quite having a 100% goal on each look. I always try and leave myself a little bit of room to be a little bit creative on set. It just kind of allows you to experiment and allows you to be an alchemist. I think a lot of people tend to forget that when they're on set or when they have a makeover, once you've done somebody's hair, once you've coloured or cut somebody's hair, the power in that speaks volumes because once it's done, it's done, it's permanent. So having that power over a client, being able to change a client's life by being able to give them something that they not only have with that day, but they live with for the next six weeks is extraordinary. Holly's first look was inspired by current trends like hair embellishment. Uh, we really ironed over Polly's hair to make sure it was uber sleek by using the original iron. And then we added on some self-adhesive pearls that I sprayed painted myself. We've really created something that's quite fresh, quite new and quite interesting for just a, quite a simple technique. I decided to create a faux fringe on Polly because she has such a fresh face so we decided to do that by using a wax thread and just kind of creating almost like an earthy feel with the, with the colour of the, of the thread um, and by using, quite, by using quite a lot of her layers in the fringe we seem to create a really cool almost like French feeling fringe which I thought was really 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 fun and I really enjoyed it. I think a lot of hairdressers forget that clients don't actually know how to style their hair at home. So by educating clients with a tool that's quite prescriptive to go home and to recreate what we do every day, it's one of the most important parts of my career. Emma's first look was just a really cool girl wave with just something a little bit different. We decided to use uh, the waving wand from Cloud9 to create a really cool, quite a relaxed wave actually, considering the length of her hair. And then we decided to add on some grips just to the side, just to create a little bit of an edgier texture and an edgier finish. Emma's second look was something that was completely opposite to her first. And that's why I decided to smooth out her hair first, just to create a, quite a simple beehive. I think that Emma has quite a timeless look and I really wanted to kind of show something different that's not entirely my aesthetic but might be um, more appealing to a broader audience. For me, pure gold is Sometimes seeing something come together on set, but normally it's seeing the finished result. It's seeing all the hard work, all of the effort, the team's effort, seeing everybody's effort come to a finished product. So when this shoot kind of goes to print and when we see the images, that's going to be my moment of gold.